Aloha yogis, thank you for coming to your practice and joining me on your mat. Um, taking the time for yourself today is really important. Um, if you love these yoga classes, please don't forget to subscribe at the bottom of the screen and maybe spread these classes to anybody you think might benefit from, from them. Um, so land on your mat, come onto a seat and either cross your legs or have one leg, one shin in front of the other, whatever feels most comfortable for you. If at any point in time the yoga practice is getting too challenging, you can always come back to a resting pose such as child's pose. Listen to your body at any point in time in the practice. Um, always be mindful of how you feel with yourself in every given moment. And yoga is about tapping into ourselves and becoming more mindful of mind, body, and spirit connection. So at this point in time, we're just going to find a real comfortable seat and allow ourselves to just land here in our space. Wherever you are at right now, Notice your space around you and start creating a nice bubble of air. Bring your hands onto your thighs, palms facing up in a receiving position here. Closing your eyes gently. Just allow yourself to observe how you feel in your space right now. Noticing your breath and how you feel in your face, your shoulders, your hands, your hips, your knees, scanning your body. In your bubble that you're creating, visualize a bright light that is surrounding you, is emanating from inside of you. Wherever this light may be, it may be coming from your third eye area, between your eyebrows, it may be coming from your throat, in between your breasts, your heart, it may be coming from your belly, your hands, or maybe the light is shining out of all these places. With your eyes closed, start tapping into your breath here. Noticing that breath is your vehicle, moves you throughout life, movement, and allows you to go through challenges with ease. Deepening your breath, take a deep breath in through the belly. And then gently out the belly. Again, another deep breath in. A nice soft breath out. Noticing the shoulders here. Relax them away from your ears. Lengthening your spine up towards the sky. Almost visualizing your light reaching up towards the sky, really reaching your heart up, and feeling the crown of your head lengthen up towards the sky. Deep breath in through the belly, sending the breath up through the chest, opening up your ribs and your heart your shoulders away and open your mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Another big one like this. All the way up, open your mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> one more breath like this. Energize yourself. <sighs> Good. Start rotating your shoulders up and back and down, keeping your eyes closed here, allowing your movement with your breath to happen simultaneously. 
Feeling all the cracking in your shoulders and the back and your shoulder blades. Big circles. And then switch directions with your circles. Bring your attention to the space you're creating for yourself to let go. Let go of the chatter, the self-talk, the external sources of distractions. Allow them to just flow through you. Good. Gently gazing at the floor, gently open your eyes and just look down at your palms. Noticing the palms just gently sitting onto your thighs. Notice your fingers. Notice your legs and your body. And just allow yourself to recognize just how beautiful you are just the way that you are. On your next inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Look up. Reach out of those fingertips, relaxing the shoulders down your back. And then exhale, hands to heart. We'll do this three more times. Reach out of your hips, lengthening the spine. Look up. And exhale, hands to heart. Again, sweep your arms. And then exhale, hands to heart. Good. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And then exhale, bring your arms down, twisting to the right. Inhale, lengthen out of your twist slightly. And then exhale, twist a little deeper. Keeping your eyes either closed or your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen out of your hips. Heart to the sky. And exhale, twist a little deeper. Breathe here, deep breath in through the belly. Noticing the sensation in your spine where you're feeling the twist. One more breath. And exhale. On your next inhale, draw your arms up back to center. Inhale, reaching up out of your hips, pointing your fingertips up, energizing your fingers. Exhale, rotating yourself towards the left into a twist, both arms down on your mat. Inhale, lengthen out of your twist slightly. And then exhale, twist a little deeper. Either your gaze towards your mat or over your left shoulder. Breathe here. Allow your breath to get yourself deeper into that twist. Tap into your ujjayi breathing or your oceanic breathing. Keeping that left knee down towards your mat. One more inhale. And then exhale. On your next inhale, sweep your arms back to center. Inhale, look up, reach up. And then exhale, hands to heart. Good. Come to the center of your mat, extending your legs out forward. Either sitting on a folded blanket or a block if you need to have that support in order to position yourself better to lengthen your spine. Inhale, your hands by your hips on your fingertips or the palms, pressing out of the ground here. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, hold it here. Belly button to spine, shoulders rolling back and down, squeezing the shoulder blades together, energizing the arms, the toes pointing towards your face. Inhale. And then exhale, stay here. Again, inhale. 
This is quite challenging. If you're not used to staying in Dandasana, this is already a challenging posture here. Good. Inhale. Reach your arms overhead. And then drop that right hand a foot away from your hip. And then drawing your left arm overhead. And drawing that right elbow towards your shoulder, towards your ribs or your inside of your body. Nice stretch to the side. Inhale. Shining your heart forward and up. And then exhale, allow yourself to go deeper into that stretch in your upper arm. Good. Keep that posture going, energizing the fingers. Opening the heart, allowing your neck to relax. Shoulders away from the ears. And switch angles so that you can see where I'm at on this side. Good. Like that. Closing your eyes, allowing yourself to go deeper. Inhaling into those left ribs. And exhaling, allowing your sh right shoulder to draw in closer to you. Inhale, back to center, reaching out of your hips. Really drawing your heart forward and up. And then exhale, drop that left hand a foot away from your hip, sending that right arm overhead. Breathe. And then exhale, relax your shoulders away from your ears, relax your neck and your jaw, energizing those top fingers. Good. Visualize those right ribs splaying open as you take a deep breath in. And as you take an exhalation, allow that top shoulder to move away from your ear. Inhale, back to center, inhale. Hands, palms together. Exhale, start hinging at the hips. Reaching forward, lengthening the spine forward, crown of the head forward. Lengthen and pulse forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, as if you're holding a ball, 3, 2, 1, and when you're ready, allow your hands to land wherever they're landing, by your shins or holding the soles of your feet, inhale, lengthen again. And then exhale, fold deeper. Leading with the heart more than leading with your head. So right now we're just focusing on trying to lengthen that spine from the tailbone and all the way up to the crown of the head. And take a deep breath in and send that heart forward towards the front of the mat. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Notice that nice stretch in the back of your legs here. Inhale. And then exhale, fold deeper. One more inhale, lengthen out slightly. And on your next inhale, completely let go, dropping your head forward. Take a deep breath in through the belly, all the way out the back of your shoulder blades, feeling and noticing, visualizing your shoulder blades retracting, sliding away from each other on your inhale. And then as you exhale, allow the shoulders and the arms to relax down towards the earth. Relax your neck, and your jaw, and your eyes, and your forehead. Deep breath in. Nice breath out. Good. Slowly walking yourself back up on your fingertips. 
Keep that right leg out in front of you and bring that left sole of your foot inside of the right leg. Inhale, arms overhead, look up. And then exhale, send that, look towards your extended leg and then hinge forward at the hips, still extending forward, lengthening your spine. And then fold forward. Take a deep breath in and fold even deeper, noticing that this stretch, this posture is really targeting more the inside of the right leg. If you want to feel an even deeper twist, you could always take your left hand, place it on the outer edge of your right foot, and then slowly turn yourself towards the right before folding forward even more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, leading with the heart. Close your eyes. Tap into your breath. Beautiful, giving yourself the space on your mat to be present right where you are. Future doesn't exist, the past is gone. This is what matters right now, is giving yourself this time completely, completely present with no expectations. Slowly move back up, bring both feet inwards, and then extend that left leg out in front of you. And I'll switch sides so that you can see me here. Inhale, lengthen up, your arms overhead, look towards your extended leg, turn towards that leg, and exhale, hinge at the hips, lengthening yourself forward, reaching out of those fingers. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, drop those hands onto your mat. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Do this a few more times with your own breath. Relax your jaw. And if you want to go into a twist here, you can take your right hand, wrap it around the out outer edge of your left foot, and turn yourself slightly towards the left before folding forward even deeper. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. I'm definitely feeling that inside of my left leg for sure. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Come back to center, slowly walking yourself up, bringing both soles of the feet together into a diamond shape or bringing your feet closer in towards your body, either holding onto your shins or wrapping interlaced fingers around your feet. Inhale, lengthen up towards the sky and then exhale, hinging at the hips, leading with the heart, fold forward into your seated butterfly. Inhale, lengthen out slightly and then exhale, fold even deeper, pressing possibly pressing those legs out and away from you with your elbows. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Deep breath in and let it out as you fold in deeper. You can also walk your fingers forward if that feels good to you. And you can even bring your forearms onto your mat if that's accessible to you. Relax your head and completely let go, rounding your back forward. Feel the soles of your feet energized, pressing against each other, activating those legs. And possibly feeling your cheeks being pulled down towards your mat with gravity. The skin dropping down.
deep breath into the pelvis, sending the breath in the hips. And exhale, relax. Your next inhale, notice it in the back of your back, your spine. Opening your ribs. Relax even deeper. Relax your hands and your fingers. Beautiful time and space for you. On your next inhale, slowly bring yourself up onto your fingers. Bring your legs together, extend them out in front of you and shake, shake, shake. Good. Slowly make yourself onto all fours in a tabletop and start swaying your hips side to side here. We're gonna start going into a little bit more abdominal work just to warm ourselves up a little bit and then we'll come into some flow. So first we're gonna do some beautiful cat cows. After we're done with our breath, moving our hips side to side, beautiful. Switching directions, loosening up our hips. Inhale, look up, press the tailbone up towards the sky, pressing out of your mat with your palms, shining your heart forward. Exhale, round your back, really looking past your legs, belly button drawn to your spine. Do this a few more times with your own breath. Wherever you need to go with this, follow your body. Follow your breath. Pressing the top of your feet down into your mat, knees hip width apart. Good, one more, cat cow. Come back to a neutral spine. And here we're going to start sending our left foot back onto the ball and swing forward and back on our foot. Good, keeping your wrists Aligned with your shoulders, right, right underneath your shoulders. Good. And then bring that leg up parallel to your mat, toes pointing down, and extend that right arm forward. Inhale, reach out of both ends. Exhale, bend your elbow to the right and your left knee towards the center of your body. We're going to do this. 10 times, 10, nine, belly button to spine, eight, seven, and keep doing this, six, I'll change my position so that you can see, five, four, three, two, one, come back to center, hold, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. I'm gonna come into the other side this time. Send that right foot back, swing forward and back on the ball of your foot. Starting to feel your wrists and your feet warming up. Bring that leg up parallel to your mat, toes pointing down towards your mat to level out your hips. Inhale, sending that left arm forward. As you inhale, really reaching out of both ends. And then exhale, bend elbow and right knee in for 10, nine, belly button drawn to spine, seven, focus on that core strengthening, six, Five, four, three, two, 
One, and hold it here, stretching out of both ends for a count of five, four, three, reach, 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 three, two, one, and lower everything down to your mat. Deep inhale, and a nice exhale. Again, inhale, tuck your toes, and we're gonna go into some knee hovers here. And we'll hover the knees for a count of five, starting now, hover for five, belly button drawn to spine here, four, three, two, one, lower down the knees, take a deep breath in into a cow, look up, and then exhale round to cat, <sighs> yeah, feels good. Take a deep breath into center. We'll tuck the toes again, and we're gonna do this for a count of 10. This time, noticing your knees are in line with your hips, wrists below your shoulders. As you hold this, you might want to try lifting alternate feet slightly off of your mat. Okay, so we'll go into a hover starting now for 10, nine, eight, maybe hover the left foot, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees, open the mat with the part, big toes to touch, send your hips back onto your heels into a wide-legged child's pose. Drop your forehead down on your mat, extend your arms forward, inhale. Big breath into the belly and the ribs, and then exhale. Again, good, one more, big one like this. Good, slowly send yourself back up into a tabletop. This time, we're gonna extend that left foot behind us and then bring it up parallel to the mat. Bend that knee. And maybe this time you'd like to reach that back, that back ankle, maybe twist towards the right slightly here. We're gonna go into a nice opening of the quads. Inhale and exhale. Hold it here. Deep breath and release. Extend that right foot behind you into on the ball of your foot, inhale. And then exhale, bring that leg parallel to the mat and then maybe bend that knee into a 90 degree and take that left hand, grab that ankle and then open up your body, twisting slightly to the left, inhale. And then exhale even deeper. Relax your neck if you can. This is a nice balancing exercise as well. Belly button drawn to the spine. <sighs> Relax. And then let go slightly. Good. Take a deep breath in into a cow. And then really rounding yourself into a cat. Yeah, feeling that lower back opening up. Good. Tuck your toes, knees hip width apart, and send your hips back for downward facing dog. Your first downward facing dog here. Pedal your feet, knees slightly bent. Inhale, heels up. And then exhale the right heel down, bending that left knee. Again, both heels up. And then exhaling the left heel down towards your mat. And do this alternately a few times with your own breath. Reach out of that tailbone. The tailbone really reaching towards the back of the room. Belly button drawn to the spine. Drawing those elbows in towards each other slightly. Pressing out of your mat. Look at your fingers. Notice if they're wide enough facing forward, feel all your knuckles and your fingers pressing into the mat. 
And relax your neck, look past your legs. And then as you inhale, bringing both heels up, hold it here. Hold your, hold your downward facing dog and really reach that tailbone up and away from you, pressing the back of the legs away towards the back of the room. Hold it here. And then staying in this posture, pressing out of your mat, start drawing those heels back down towards your mat. Keeping that V shape in your downward facing dog, that feeling of extension of the spine. Sort of imagining somebody pulling you, pulling your hips away from behind. Deep breath in and a nice breath out. Inhale, heels up, bend the knees, step to the front of the mat. Inhale into a half lift here. Hands either onto your shins, your mat, or the top of your thighs. Extend the crown forward. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward here. You can hold opposite elbows. Swing side to side, gently. And say yes or no, loosening your neck, allowing the weight of your head to just pull you down. Inhale, half lift, reaching the crown forward. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, bend the knees, round your back all the way up. Reaching out of your arms, look up. Exhale, hands to heart. Tapping into your breath here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Holding the back of your shins, maybe fold even deeper here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back into a high plank. Lower the knees down. Come into a plank. Lower down for a count of five, four, belly button to spine, three, two, one, untuck the toes, pressing the top of the feet down on your mat, hands beneath your shoulders, elbows tucked in towards your sides. Inhale into a cobra. When you inhale into a cobra, almost clawing yourself forward, moving your heart forward before bringing yourself up. Noticing the shoulders move away from the ears and your crown reaching forward, kneecaps lifting. Exhale, lower. We'll do this five times with all of that in mind. Inhale, bring yourself up to a baby cobra. Look down at your mat, clawing yourself forward. Exhale, lower. Four. Three. And you're doing good. Two, squeeze the glutes, but not too much, leaving yourself space. Feeling it in the lower back and the abs. One, lower down. Inhale, press yourself into a tabletop. Tuck, tuck your toes, send your hips back for a downward facing dog. Inhale, heels up. Tailbone up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your heels down. Reaching out of your arms. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. <sighs> Inhale, heels up. Start walking your feet gently towards your hands. Tippy-toeing. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, rounding yourself up towards the sky. Reach your arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Leading with the heart. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, tippy toe your feet back into a downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, the right leg overhead for a three-legged dog here. 
really reach out of that back heel, toes pointing down to try and drop that right hip down towards your mat to level your hips out. Look down and past your legs here. Relax your neck, press, press out of the mat. Inhale. And then exhale, draw that right knee into your right elbow, sending yourself into a high plank, look forward. Inhale, send your leg back, sweep it back. Exhale, bring that right knee into the left elbow. And sweep it back. We'll do this one more time on each side. <clears throat> And then we'll bring our knee into our nose for a count of five. Hold it here, round that up for five, four, draw that knee up closer, three, you can do it, two, one, gently step between your hands, and exhale. Inhale, drop that back knee down, sweep the arms overhead for a low lunge, inhale, reach up, exhale, lunge deeper. Here, allow your pelvis to still draw down, tailbone drawing down, belly button into spine, reaching out of those hips, inhale, exhale, bend that knee deeper into the front, trying to make sure that right knee is in line with your right ankle. Draw the shoulders down and away from your ears, heart shining up, breathe, good, again. One more. And drop that left hand inside of the right foot. Come into a nice side twist. Reaching that right arm overhead, looking up towards the sky if that's comfortable for you. Twist. And then twist deeper as you exhale. Reach up. Belly button to spine. One more. And come, stay into your twist, come back into center, arms reaching out by your side, and reverse low lunge, sending that right over arm overhead with your, that left arm overhead with your right arm on the back of the left thigh, reach out, and come back down, uh, tuck the back leg, lift it, behind you and send that right foot behind you into a downward facing dog. Inhale, heels up. And then exhale, heels down. Inhale, roll yourself into a high plank. Lower down either on your knees or chaturanga, halfway down. Inhale, up dog. Opening the heart forward, shining your heart open. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up behind you, reaching out of that back heel, toes pointing down towards your mat. Inhale. And then exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale, send that left knee towards the left elbow. Breathe. Inhale, sweep it back. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, sweep it back. Draw that belly button into the spine. Left to left. Sweep it back. Left to right. Sweep it back. And we'll hold knee to nose for a count of five. Right below you for five, four, lift it up. Three, two, one. Gently step it between the hands. Lower that back knee. Inhale, hands overhead. And then when you're ready, exhale, lunge. Try and keep a, your gate open even more if you want more space for your hips. Try not to sink too deep into this. Still keep your, your abdominals and your, your core activated, reaching out of your hips and your fingers. Inhale. And then exhale, lunge deeper by bending that front knee a little bit deeper. Take a deep breath in. 
one nice breath out again and then as you exhale drop that right hand inside of the left foot and come into a nice side twist looking up either towards your hand and the sky reaching up out of your fingers or you can just allow your neck to relax looking towards the side again breath tapping into the breath here and then staying in that twist come up with both arms extended sideways shoulders away from the ears inhale and then exhale reverse that low lunge bringing that right arm overhead bending that front knee even deeper inhale and then exhale the shoulders away from the ears Maybe closing your eyes to test your balance. Inhale. And then exhale. Windmill your arms forward. Lift that back knee up. Step it back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, heels up. Reach the tailbone up and away. Exhale, heels down. Good, inhale, heels up. And then exhale, heels down. Inhale, heels up, bend the knees, hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, round yourself down into a chair. Send your arms by your ears and sit down into your chair with your feet hip width apart, send your weight back into your heels, tailbone down, belly button to spine, reaching that heart forward. So your triceps by your ears or slightly past your ears if you can. Inhale, try and squeeze the shoulder blades here together. Exhale into cactus arms. We'll do this 10 times with our own breath. Okay, so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you can do it. Maybe sit down deeper, three, Two, one, and release your legs, really reaching out of the hands, and then exhale, fold. Good. Take a deep breath in. Lengthen, forward, half lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Again, inhale, half lift. And then exhale, fold. Again, inhale, half lift, and then fold. Inhale, bend the knees, roll yourself up slowly, all the way up, head last. Look up towards your hands, reach out of those fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart. Bring the big toes together with about a couple of inches of space between the heels and the back. And then sit yourself down, knees together, into a chair again. In your chair, inhale, lengthen out of your, out of your spine towards the sky with the crown of your head. Sit down deeper. Again. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take that left elbow, hook it onto the outside of your left, your right thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist without twisting your hips. So the bottom of your body stays in line. You're only twisting from the spine up. Notice if your knees are in line with each other or not. Look down, look at your knees. Inhale. And exhale, draw the heart towards your hands. Maybe relax the neck or even look up. 
Inhale, bend the knees, come back to center, reach up high out of your hips. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Feeling the heat. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Energizing your body. Exhale, sit back down into your chair. Hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen, tailbone down. Exhale, sit down deeper. Take that right elbow, hook it on the inside of the outside of your left thigh. Twist to the left. Keep your knees in line with each other. Send your weight back in your heels. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist deeper. When I say twist deeper, you can send your heart towards your hands as opposed to your hands down. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, and then exhale, maybe look up. Good, sit the hips down deeper. Weight back in the heels. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale, hold it here. Inhale, slowly come back to center, reaching out of your hips, really reaching up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Bring your hands down by your side into Dasana. Deep breath in and a nice exhalation in your mountain pose. Feel the heat you just built, the strength. Eyes closed, deep breaths. One more breath. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. And then exhale, fold forward. Good. Hold opposite elbows, bend the knees and sway yourself side to side. Feeling so good. Come back to center. We'll slowly move our way onto our knees and our hands. And we're gonna bring ourselves onto our bums. We'll do a little bit of abdominal exercises here. Slowly roll yourself onto your back. Reaching your arms overhead and your legs Forward, reaching, giving yourself a nice stretch out throughout the body. And then relax. Again, reaching out. And then relax here. And we'll come into a boat pose. So bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Swaying yourself side to side here. Just allowing yourself that Time to give your back, your lower back a massage. Mm -hmm. Come back to center and start swinging yourself back and forth onto your spine. You can land into a boat pose in whichever way you, you'd like. I love doing this, feeling playful, just allowing myself to just do whatever I feel like doing. It's fun. And then we're gonna land into a boat pose. Whoop. <laughs> then we have this magical place that's right at the base of our tailbone, the sacrum area, where we feel we can balance ourselves out. You can bring your hands on your mat first to find it. The knees together and ankles together. Okay, in a 90 degree angle. You can even hold on to the back of your thighs, bringing your heart forward, and then release your arms forward, powering out of those fingers, plugging those shoulders into the shoulder sockets. Inhale, draw the belly button into the spine, and exhale, hold it here. Two more breaths. My legs are shaking, feeling that heat. And then slowly making your way down onto your back for five, Four, three, two, one. Drawing those arms overhead, stretch. 
everything on the mat. And then exhale, draw the knees into the chest again, swaying side by side. Good. And we'll come back into our boat pose. Deep breath in. Nice breath out. And start swaying yourself forward and back again. Good. And then come back into your boat pose. Here, we're gonna do 10 times sit-ups in our V. So we're gonna lower down to a hover, and we're gonna come back up into our boat pose. You can do this either in a V or bent knees. So we're gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, open your arms out to the side, four, three, two, one, come back to your boat pose. Then we're gonna go five times. We're gonna go extend one leg out and bring it in. The other leg out and bring it in. Two, three, four, good, five, Stay here, and then bring your fingers around the big toes here. Still balancing on the tailbone, and then take that left, that right leg out in front of you, and you can play around with this. So you're here, you're balancing on your tailbone, you're holding your toes, extend that right leg, bring it in. Extend that left leg, Bring it in. Shine your heart up towards the sky, shoulders down and away from your ears. Inhale, bring it in. Inhale, bring it in. And maybe, just maybe, either holding the toes or the outer edges of your feet or your heels or even your shins, you might want to open up both legs out towards the side. Inhale, and then exhale, hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, belly button to spine, 4, 3, 2, 1, and draw that in, good. Soles of the feet together, inhale, reach out of your hips, reach, 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 exhale, hinge forward at the hips and fold forward. Inhale, out of that butterfly. And then exhale, fold. Come back to center. And we'll come into box pose. So bring the right shin down onto your mat and that left shin on top of the right. Nice hip opening here. Inhale, just sitting here if this is enough for you in your square pose. Or exhale, hinge forward, leaning with the heart. Come onto your fingertips. And allow yourself to fully extend forward, either staying here, or if you're already there in your practice, you can come down onto the forearms. And if you want to go even deeper, you can allow your forehead to melt down onto your stacked fists. And if you're even deeper into your practice, you can possibly just bring your arms to your side and allow your head to fully drop down onto your mat. We're here for a minute. Deep breath in. And allow yourself to ease yourself in this posture. Close your eyes. Relax your jaw. Sending your breath into your hip. To relax the muscles and the connective tissues in your hips. Good. 
could. Notice the silence that you're giving yourself now. Notice that with every exhalation, you could possibly relax slightly deeper. Release the tension in your hips, in your face, in your eyes. Make your way up on your fingers, and gently bringing your hands slightly behind your hips, your feet down on your mat, hip width apart, and start swaying your knees side to side in a windshield wiping movement, allowing your hips to open up a little bit, loosen up, lower back. Following your breath, <sighs> opening the heart, and then come back to center and switching sides. Inhale, extending out of your hips. Even bringing your arms overhead if you'd like. And then exhale, hinge forward at the hips, lengthening your spine through the crown. And then drop your hands onto your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward even deeper wherever you're at. We often identify ourselves with so many things externally, but really we are an essence, an aura. We belong to the universe and we already are complete just the way we are. Our nature. We can allow ourselves to just be us and give to the world as we are. And that is how you can lead with your authenticity, accepting your differences, embracing all of you as a whole, all your faults, all your qualities, where you're at in your life and your journey, and accepting yourself. Deep breath in through the belly. Feeling that nice breath in your back, in your middle back. And exhale, loosen deeper. So beautiful, simple. The simplicity of coming onto our mat and just being, existing. Bring yourself onto the fingers, slowly bringing yourself up. Send your hands behind your hips slightly, bring your, your feet forward and then swaying your legs side to side again. Beautiful, gentle movements. And then we'll slowly come onto our mats, on our backs, and with your, the soles of your feet on your mat, hip width apart, slowly roll yourself with control all the way down, all the way down, slowly. Good. Landing on your mat, well, however you want to, extending your legs 
out into your final Shavasana, either into a T, arms overhead, wherever you need to go for yourself. Squeeze in your Shavasana, squeeze your glutes, your hips, all of the muscles in your abs. Give yourself a nice squeeze and then relax the hips again. Do this one more time. Squeeze that center, this, this, this center here. Squeeze it all. And then release. And then just give yourself a little shake, shake, shake. Shake everywhere. And then completely let go. Closing your eyes. Noticing the contact of your shoulders on your mat. The lower back. The calves. The heels. The back of your arms and your hands. And then start swaying your head side to side. Very, very slowly. Relaxing your jaw. And allowing your teeth to part. Breathing in gently. And a nice exhalation of release. And letting go. Just let it all go. Beautiful. Mahalo, thank you in Hawaiian for joining me in this space and sharing this heart space with me. I'm grateful for all of you, even though I don't get to see you. Namaste.